Okay, how's it going everyone? This is Team with Motorcycling and I'm back with another video for you today. I'll be talking about my disc golf bag. Uh, basically, uh, an update on it, on, in the bag for 2016. As you can see, I have two bags here. I have an A14 bag. This bag I actually use for tournament plays, so this summer I haven't played any, any tournaments. So therefore, uh, it's basically just holding my doubles disc and I'll explain why it, this bag is still uh, in the video later on. And then uh, my main bag for the summer is this A, uh, the C15 bag. And this has only like one single disc of everything in here, except for my putters, obviously. Um, but there's a reason for that, and I'll explain that at the end of the video. Okay, so let's start off with my putters. Um, right now, I'm rocking McPro AVRs. I actually had a recommendation for these McPro AVRs and a number of other di discs, the Dagger, a Closer, um, a few other ones that were recommended by my viewers and what ultimately happened was I was going to go out and buy like one of each to try it out but I ended up buying these as a set first before any of the other ones and I ended up liking them so much and they ended up working so well for me that I decided to just not buy any more and just kept on playing with these and I ended up enjoying putting with them so much that I just wanted to keep using them all summer so I ended up not buying any other putters and I'm sorry I didn't try the other ones but uh, anyways back to the putters the reason why is that I um, I found out that it, this putter fits my putting style and this is the crazy thing about trying to find the putter that fits you or just a disc that suits you. you you just never know you think you got the right one until you keep trying new ones and it turns out that your game seems to suit this disc or this disc suits your game it's it's the one tool that I didn't think would actually work for my game, but it works great. And it's the only Innova disc that I have in the back, which is crazy. So uh, to start off with, inside the circle, uh, the way I putt with this disc is, and the way I've always been putting, but no other disc worked or flew this way, had the same flight pattern as this one, is inside the circle, I throw it flat like this, um, I put it flat like this. Uh, I put like a little push and spin at the same time, all in one motion. I don't spin putt only and I don't push putt only. I kind of do a little bit of both. So um, this disc allows me to push the putter and it'll fly straight within the circle. If I need a little bit of spin, I can put a little spin on it and it will still fly straight and fade at the end, which is fantastic, which is what I want in a putter and apparently this putter does that. So inside the circle, I throw it straight. I like my putters to go dead straight as possible. And it stays straight like this and it fades a little bit towards the end. But by that time, it should hit chains if I'm accurate. Outside the circle, I like to give it on an anhyzer and it straightens out and then it fades towards the end. The reason why I like doing that is because in case I overthrow or I overshot it, um, it's not going to fly past the basket and keep going for a while and land straight down. Uh, rather than um, trying to do a floating putt, I would rather have it fade a little, a little bit towards the end because I know I can putt within the circle confidently compared to, um, to um, outside the circle. So that's why outside the circle, I'll give a little bit of Anheuser, it straightens out and then it fades towards the basket, um, as long as I'm accurate, of course. So that's how I've been putting and I found out that that style of game requires this for me. I'm a pro AVRs. So I've tried Magnets, I've tried Challengers, I've tried uh, KC Pro AVRs, I've tried Yeti Pro AVRs, um, I've even tried Wizards, The Warden, I've tried, um, man, I've tried so many different powders. I've even tried uh, The Judge, I've tried a bunch of those. So ultimately it came down to my pro AVRs and I only have two, so hopefully I don't lose these. All right, enough about the putters, let's move on. The uh, next pocket, we have um, extra towel and two extra pairs of socks. First aid kit, you can't go wrong with first aid kit. And the first aid kit always requires a Neosporin. Uh, I, this is bag is not for tournament play, so I pack pretty light in this bag. And that's pretty much, that's all in there. This pocket, I normally actually use it for like a towel, like this. So that's easy access to wipe my discs off. But I want to put that aside for now. Moving on from there, um, I do carry one other type of putter, which is the Challenger. This is for off the tee shots. Um, I haven't really thrown the Pro AVRs because I only have two. And I don't want to beat the other ones up because I want them both to stay as putters for now, uh, for only putting. Uh, this one's off the tee. I can rip it off the tee, give it a lot of torque, and um, within between 
um, anywhere from zero to 200 feet, I will throw this. So I use it for up shots, I use it for tee, tee shots. And um, with this one, I can throw it on a hyzer and it will stay on the hyzer the whole time. I can throw it uh, flat and it'll stay flat. So if I give it more power, it'll stay flat. If I give it a little bit of power and I throw it flat, it hyzers much quicker. Um, just like most overstable discs, I suppose. And then in this one, if I throw an anhyzer and need an S shot, I can certainly do that off the tee. And that's why I keep the, the Challenger still. All right, so moving on from there, uh, I also have a Pearl, about 155 gram Pearl. Uh, this particular shot is anything up to 200 feet that I need to go right. That's all this disc does. It's just effortless right-handed shot. Uh, by the way, I'm a right-handed, backhanded um, thrower. And so anything I want to go, Anheuser, to the right, very it, it, either low speeds, it will go right if I put on Anheuser. High speeds, it would just literally roll, pretty much. Um, high speeds, on uh, I need a, like a tight, narrow tree line shot, high speed hyzer shot, pops up, go to the right. That's what this disc is for. I haven't found a disc to replace that yet, so in the meantime, that's what I still use. Uh, we got the shock wave. Uh, the shock wave is, this is the first run shock wave. I put this in the bag because I found out that my buzz um, flies a little bit too straight sometimes when I need to hyzer hard for mid range. So anything between 200 and 225 I throw this uh, if I need a I need a sharp hyzer shot so that's why I put this in here it's a pretty controllable disc for me now when I first got it it wasn't as controllable but now that I have the power to control it it actually is helpful in my bag so that's primarily what I use this for or sometimes wind shots and I know my buzz is going to turn on me I, I will pull this out and throw in a hyzer and it'll just stay flat up like this for a while before it, it goes left so that's why I used I have a shock wave in there and then uh, this particular plastic is just grippy on the shock wave, so that's why I like it as well. My trusty buzz, still have it. Um, whatever line I put it on, it goes. So whatever shot I need and it's nice and calm, or if it's just slightly windy, about maybe up to eight miles per hour, uh, I'll still pull out the buzz and throw it. If I throw in a hyzer with, uh, with a little bit of wind, it'll pop up and stay straight, and it'll just stay straight for a long time. Uh, same thing, um, if there's no wind in great conditions like today, throw in an Anheuser, it'll stay in the Anheuser for a while. It might fade out a little bit at the end, but it's, depending on how much of an Anheuser and how much torque I put on it, uh, it'll stay like that for a while. So this thing, any, anywhere up to 250 feet, I will throw uh, my buzz, depending on the shot. Okay, uh, we have the um, Underworld. This is probably one of my favorite fairway drivers that goes to the right. <laughs> Basically, um, from 250 to 280 feet, this is what I use. Um, that goes to the right. So this is for narrow wooded shots that I need to something to pop up the flip. I can throw this, or if I have a shot where it literally goes dog leg right, then I will throw this disc. And that's why this is in here. It's very controllable too. My stalker is basically a buzz that goes farther. So up to 280 feet, I throw this. It's basically a buzz in, that goes farther. Uh, the Prodigy F7 is something I added this summer. Um, I probably added this probably towards the end of last summer. I just didn't really think I needed it. But this summer I've been using it a lot uh, for the windy shots. So imagine it as a more stable stalker. It has a sim, similar grip. It has a similar rim diameter, uh, rim width, I should say. It has a similar feel as a stalker except it flies more stable and that's why I kind of like it and of course the uh, 400 plastic is way more grippier than the Elite Z uh, from, uh, from Discraft. So that's why I actually put this in the bag and I'm actually starting to like it. So uh, I throw this up to 280 feet just like the stalker. Uh, anything more than that I, I will have the disc up with my type of power. Uh, the Escape uh, from Dynamic Disc is probably one of my favorite utility discs that is a fairway driver. It's a little bit faster than the F7 or just any of the discs I've talked about already. But this one I use it um, for pretty much 280 to 300 or just anything up to 300 feet. Um, well, between 280 and 300 because now this disc is beaten in so much that and the edge is so sharp that it will literally just fly, 
fight through anything and go really, really, really far for me with very little effort. Sometimes I even sidearm with this. Um, what I'll do is I'll do a flex sidearm if I need a shot like that where I feel that I'm not confident at that hole off the tee, I will actually sidearm and do a flex to get to the right. Um, so that's a great disc for that. And I, I'm backhanding on the shot uh, on this disc, um, I can actually throw it on hyzer. It'll flip up, it'll stay for a little bit, and then it'll finish hard left. So that's a nice thing to have. Um, this disc also, you can, I can also do flex shots with this. So if I throw it on the Anheuser, it will flex back very nicely, but slow, which is what I love. All right, the uh, Blizzard Champion Wraith. This one, I actually found this disc. I don't remember which course I found it on. And um, I actually ended up liking it, put it in the bag just to try it out. Uh, I ended up liking it so much because it's so effortless to throw it on a hyzer, flips up and it just goes for days and then it'll finish to the right. So that's pretty much, uh, on windy days, kind of forget it though, cause I've thrown it on windy days and it just flips up and it just turns over for me and that's kind of not good. Um, I, have, I was thinking about trying this for as a roller, but I haven't gotten around to it yet, but so that's why this disc is in the bag. It's more for like me to try it out than anything. Um, Next is the Pro Destroyer. I actually lost one of my Pro Destroyers, so that's why I got another one. But the Pro Destroyer is ultimately for anything over 300 feet um, that needs a hard turn left. Um, yeah, I can use the Escape for that, but this disc can fight through wind compared to the Escape. So I know that this will always uh, finish to the left, whereas the Escape sometimes in windy conditions will finish straight which was what I don't want. So that's why with the Pro Destroyer, I use this for, uh, for that. I also throw flex shots with this, and sometimes I can get it to go farther than my noose with a flex shot on the Pro. Uh, and the Pro plastic is pretty grippy, and that's why I like it as well. And then my trusty nuke that I've had for probably about four years now. This is speeding so much that basically no wind, perfect condition, throw in a hyzer, pops up and just stays flat for days. And it just, and it doesn't hyzer back because it's just so beat in, which is lovely, by the way. Uh, so that's why I have this disc in here. Anything above 325 feet, I throw my nukes. Uh, see, so this nuke is basically, it's probably, I guess it's the only other double I have besides my powder. Uh, this nuke is actually just uh, a newer nuke, so it's a little bit more stable. So fight through the wind. Uh, anything above th um, 325 feet, I pull out my nukes to throw for those shots. So this is more stable if I want. So this is to fight through the wind and, and finish uh, left then I will actually use this disc. Uh, that's pretty much my bag. Um, I also got the golden retriever right here. But there's nothing else in these pockets because this is for like casual rounds and practice rounds. I also have my, my uh, mini. The mini is to help me practice um, on the course. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The reason why I carry single of everything in this bag is because I want to uh, basically uh, Im Im imitate um, tournament round because I only have one type of disc for that one shot that I need to take and I wanted to see if I can practice and play with only one of each because I only need doubles during a tournament play then that's why this bag is so huge is in case I lose one of my discs I'll have a backup that's really the only reason why so during practice and during casual rounds what I need to buy why do I need to carry doubles of everything um, when I can just carry a single because I already know what, sh what disc to use for what shot. So uh, if I lose it, then I'll just go home. I'm not gonna lose a tournament or, or money over it. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, my bag. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry it took so long to do the bag. Um, but um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave it below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.